How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How's it going, Mr. Hoff? Good. How's it going, Mr. Card? It's going pretty good. Okay, so today we're going to do a uh, computer build for my daughter. And uh, <clears throat> what we have on the table is used parts uh, that I got. And um, actually, just to be quite honest, I bought the system uh, as is from the same seller. And uh, we're going to assemble this computer and do a little bit of a, a how-to computer build. Yeah, yeah, just a just a small little computer build. Just a computer build, and uh, we had to clean all the parts up. There was a lot of dust and grime and you name it on there. So yeah, we thought, you know what? <clears throat> let's just uh, let's just shoot a computer build and uh, uh, yeah get this thing up and running for the kid and uh, she can do some gaming with her sister. All right, back in a bit. All right, Mr. Hoff, you ready to rock and roll? All right, yeah, let's uh, let's get this motherboard in. The motherboard we are using is a MSI X370 Gaming Plus, if I can get this back plate in here, it's yeah, wonderful. The back, the back plates are always like... I like the built-in ones, because, you know... Built-in ones are awesome. Not quite. It's got to come up just a hair. <sighs> yeah. They're the worst. There. No, you got it. You got it. It's good. That. So, uh, actually, we should point out, since this is going to be a bit of a tutorial, um, every motherboard has, you know, pretty much standard hole spacing for, uh, for the retention screws. And every case uh, will have kind of multiple areas although this case is actually uh quite limited to tell you the truth yeah but some some cases will have different hole sets for different style motherboards whether it's a full atx eatx e -ATX or uh micro or mini, micro or, mini or whatever so you kind of have to make sure that the uh the standoffs uh for the motherboard are in the right spot because the last thing you want is one of those metal standoffs to be out in the middle of the board somewhere and um, and basically shorting out the board. So uh, we did actually put the CPU in because it's just uh, just safer to have the CPU in its socket. And the CPU is a uh, 3800X. Ryzen 30. Is it a Ryzen? Five or a Ryzen, Ryzen 7. Ryzen 7 3800X, yeah. yeah. So yeah, basically once you have your standoffs um, in the right spot, this case here, which is a which is a um, uh, five, it's a 510 NZXT. from NZXT, NZXT 510. Um, it probably came pre-configured with the standoffs in the right spot, but anyway, just be aware that they have to go. And uh, <clears throat> you know, put a screw in every hole. And what I normally do, just in case you're completely paranoid, is count how many holes the motherboard has, count how many standoffs there are. If something doesn't match up when, the, when you're done mounting it, you need to take it out and have a look. See, I'm not that paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have put together computers with a standoff out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so have I, and I just left it. <laughs> yeah, but I, the last time I did it, it was shortening out the board, and it wouldn't post. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a new problem. <laughs> so this uh, CPU has been obviously lapped. I'm sure if you're seeing that, why is it copper color? Somebody has lapped that CPU, but uh, I already know it's a 3800X. Yes. Okay, so we have um, the motherboard is now installed. Uh, we'll get Kevin to install some RAM. Some RAM, and the RAM that we're using is Ripjaws DDR4, Ripjaws 5 DDR4, 3000 megahertz. 3, 000, yeah, and that one will have an XMP profile of 3200. It should be 32, or it'll just run at 3. Yeah. So the RAM, uh, if you notice, the slot has a notch, and the RAM has a notch. And you, you really can't screw it up. I mean, well, <laughs> you can, if you try hard enough, you can screw it up, but just match the notch with the, in the round with the notch on the slot and, and clip them in and bingo. And then, so there's your Ram. Okay. So, uh, the cooler, 
Um, do you want to put the fan on after the fact or after now? The fact, yep. Yeah, we can just route the cable underneath. We need some thermal. Paste. So we need some thermal paste. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah. So here we're going to actually uh, film the thermal paste uh, installation. installation. I I don't know how much is left in that tube. With there. these, I do five dots. Yeah. So <clears throat> there's nothing more contentious on YouTube than thermal paste installation. The it's, bigger chips you have, you want to do an X because one dot in the middle, it won't spread out properly. Yeah. So just just so that everybody's aware, uh, when people post on YouTube putting thermal paste on, you get absolutely flamed in the comments. You do. And it doesn't matter if you were completely correct or if you were completely wrong. You always have people freaking out over your thermal paste installation. Anyway, this little, like, you know, <laughs> number five sided dice installation will work just fine. Hey. I can bring my Noctella or Noctua thermal paste package down here and it'll show that exact thing for this size of CPU. Exactly. So, and who's going to argue Noctua? I'm not going to do it. No, I won't, I won't argue a manufacturer either. No, it's not worth it. So when you put the CPU cooler on, you kind of want to do a crisscross pattern, um, especially at the start, because if you just like blast one of the edge screws in, it's going to push all the thermal paste to the side that has less tension on it. So just kind of get them started and kind of make them as even as possible. And uh, yeah, so these screws will go down until they stop and you don't have to crank them on. Nope. Just, just run them down until they seat and that's all you need to do. And they're pretty much all done. Good. Excellent. Okay. And we can put that, yeah, put the fan. So I think the... Let's do it this way. Yeah, you want to hook up the power just so you can reach it? Yep. Wonderful. So, of course, um, most, if not all, modern motherboards have multiple fan headers on them. Uh, some of the... Some of the boards will have something marked as CPU or or opt, opt, yeah, option. That will also work. These are a pain. Yeah. Oh, is it clearing the RAM? Just barely. Yeah, we're fine. We're right there. Yeah. Oh, these fans have uh, rubber. Yeah, uh, like a little rubber. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so it doesn't vibrate. Exactly. That's good. All right, there's that. Okay, so we're gonna vertically mount the yeah, GPU. Yeah, huh? so we can put a uh, put put the solid state NVMe in. This is a Samsung, or sorry, a um, Western Digital Black 750, and uh, which is actually a pretty nice drive. Sure is. Don't lose this screw. Yeah, I recommend a magnetic screwdriver. So you can do that, you know, you can, as I can't get the drive in now, it's wonderful. And it doesn't have to be overly tight. Nope. All right. So, um, basically we can, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna actually vertically mount this GPU and, uh, we're gonna use this, uh, this is a uh, PCI X3 uh, revision three uh, riser. riser cable. So that will go in the slot and then it's kind of long. So I may have to do some fancy bends, do some fancy bends or whatever, but that'll get, uh, that'll be fine like that. That'll get this uh, GPU in a vertical mount. And we'll probably actually have to use this slot. These two will run at the same speed. They're both 16 X. Yes, they are. Because we have a Wi-Fi card that's actually going to go in. Uh, it won't work on the bottom because you're a riser cable. Yeah. Yeah. Although I could, uh, I could hardwire this for the kid because her room was hardwired before. Where's the, um, how much room is this going to take up? So if we were to put that 
could we bend around this? It's a pretty small card. We might be able to bend around this once we get this riser cable in. So we can find out. Um, let's just uh, yeah, take let's, these back. Let's take the back plate off. Oh, that one's already done. Oh, did you put the back on? No, we need to. What are you? What are we trying to do here? This, I, this was off before. Yeah, I put that on. Okay, so let's take that slot cover off. Jesus. Jeez, Louise. Let's see if we can. What we can do with this? Uh, there you go. Let's see what we can do with this uh, riser cable. Maybe we'll get lucky. So this has to go back on. Flip around. Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh, we have to take both of those slots off, yep. both those covers off. So if we can get the riser cable to come up, so I'll put this in its slot. If we can get it to bend around, and I actually think we should be okay. Should be fine. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, give her. I'll let you put that back in. Thank you. And good. Let's see. So for graphics card, by the way, we're using just a gigabyte 1070 G1, eight gig card, more than good enough for 1080p gaming. Ooh, it's that riser cable is not going to let us go down far enough. That's what I was I was worried about was the riser cable wasn't going to be because it's pretty tall. Ooh, the screws. So you got to clip it in here. What's that? Oh, it'll work. I think we're going to do it. Here, let me get that. Um, let me get those two screws in there. Yeah, I just don't like the bend on that, but that's okay. Yeah, I know. Well, let's give it a shot. Hold on. All right, give her. What do you think? I like it. I'll have to do some. I'm not sure why it's on such a weird angle. There we go. That's straighter now. Yeah. All right. Let's put the second screw in here. Okay. What do we think? I like it. Let's lift up on the card slightly. Let's see if I can just pull that yeah. down. There we go. So we want to have it kind of straight. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, let's uh, flip that up and have a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks all right. I like it. Cool. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't really take all that long to, uh, to get the motherboard and the RAM and CPU, you know, all that stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't really take all that long. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do, uh, power supply. We do have some, um, thermal take kind of fancy cables. They're, they're actually just extensions for that, uh, non-modular power supply, but that'll kind of clean the system up a little bit. So, uh, we're going to get the system turned around and start putting the power supply in and, um, get the rest of this all buttoned up. So back in a bit. Okay, so we're going to uh, get the power supply installed. This is a non-modular. I mean, this is this is a budget system um, by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> so, modular uh, non-modular power supply is fine. It's fine if you got space to hide your cables. Yeah, and, and then you can dress it up with these. And uh, it's a Gigabyte P650B. So this was about I think they're like fifty bucks used or, or yeah, something, something like that. that. Uh, we'll break down the prices after the build. Um, and just uh, let you know the the cost breakdown, and uh, it's actually quite economical to to buy uh, used equipment. 
and even this machine at 1080p will play modern games no problem yeah it'll play anything you want to play yeah it'll play anything you want to play exactly unless you want to play cyberpunk i don't recommend oh well it. i mean i've seen cyberpunk take a 4090 to its knees so. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but will it run crisis <laughs> well <laughs> yes it will so um <clears throat> in the odd chance that you're watching this video i mean we'll just start with that but in the odd chance that you're watching this video and you've never built a computer before uh it's actually not it's actually not that hard it's not difficult yeah most power supplies have uh four screws that uh that hold them into the case uh you know sometimes they'll have a knockout for the switch and the and the plug uh sometimes they're just a big square hole like this one so pretty much just put the psu psu like whatever you want did we want these on the outside or did we want them on the inside because this is actually a this is actually a square opening we could actually put it the other way I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at we can, all. We can squeeze them in. Um, oh, actually, I should also... And the fan. Yeah. So, so you got intake for the fan. Want to flip this case up just sure. a little bit? So a lot of power supplies will have a cooling fan. And uh, in this particular case, the cooling fan needs to go at the bottom uh, because they've got provisions for the airflow. And of course, there's also a, uh, a dust filter. So when you're putting your power supply in, um, and by the way, that's so that we we wouldn't want to actually flip this over. You could, but then you'd be drawing hot air. From you'd be drawing hot case. air from inside the case, exactly. So, yeah. so you want to put your uh, your power supply so the fan is sucking cold air in. So this is the uh, twenty four pin ATX power, or. 20 plus four <laughs> it is 20 plus four it is 20 plus that's, four that's correct oh, yeah. not floor floor 20 plus floor <laughs> that's what happens after uh that's what happens after 20 beers <laughs> so why am i doing the wiring i hear the one that you you, you touched it last uh, i guess so <laughs> <laughs> what is this? apparently i was supposed to do the wiring that's that looks like a rgb header cool i'm gonna put that little dust cover back on yeah, because that, you know it sounds good there we go. So this case is actually pretty cool. They've got provision for two uh, 2.5 inch SSDs right here, which we're not using, but that's pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Uh, they've also got a provision for uh, three and a half inch discs down here, which we're also not using. Hmm. So that is the uh, supplementary. Are these cables both the same? They are. Um, is it really? One, this, that's the one that's going to go there for sure. Cause yeah. that's graphic or that's uh, what do you call it? CPU. CPU, external power or supplementary power. I actually like this case. I kind of dig it. Yeah. It's, it's got some, it's got some pretty neat, uh, like that'll go there pretty. Yeah. Once pretty we, much. once we get the, uh, what do you call it? Zip ties in. Yeah, this case has some pretty neat provisions for uh, for routing cables. Yeah, it'll actually look pretty good. Not like our usual builds. <laughs> Stuff and cram. <laughs> That's right. Don't take the back cover off my computer, Let's I tell you. That, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'm just getting it out of the way for right now. just want to flip it over. Oh, do you? I don't know, just because I'm weird. You know. Just... Here. Yeah, you sure are weird. Okay. I get it. It's the PCI Express, the video card supplementary power. That's what it is. And that goes up through this little hole over here. You won't be able to see it, but you'll see it when we flip the computer yeah. around. And then we just cram, cram, cram. So enough of that. This can go in the, you know, the drive bays that aren't yeah, going to the, the drive bay is a convenient spot to hold cables. <laughs> yeah. Sure is. <laughs> See? And it's pretty tidy. It is pretty tidy. So what do we got going on here? We got, um, oh, front panel headers. 
USB, USB 3. This is another RGB. So where was this RGB going? Nowhere. Because but, it's, but I know, but what was it running to in the case? Actually, this is not RGB. This is actually USB. That's for your USB-C oh, or Thunderbolt, whatever you want to call Thunderbolt. it. Thunderbolt, yeah. So that board doesn't have that header, does it? The board does not have that header. Okay. So that'll just be tied up. That'll be tied up. Okay. This will go through. This needs power. Yeah, because it says power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we should pull one of those. Pull one of these. Just seeing what the heck is going on here. I don't know. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it, I, I guess. So that all runs down this channel. Look, they even do uh, curved. Was that where all this was going? Yep. Cool. All right, well. This, this computer was quite dirty when I got it, so it, it needed to be disassembled. That has to go through the there's a little slot right there, right through there, like so. Oops. The cameraman shouldn't be doing this because I'm like, I'm You're getting in the way, shooting the back of your head or the side of the table. Okay, and those were coming through. I those should go right through there, I guess. So that'll go. That's, yeah. that's what we're not using that one. Yeah, so that's just gonna go that go way. off to the side. We'll tie it up later. Uh, there was some stuff coming down here because they were he was using that. Yeah. Do we remember where the USB three was? Was it on the bottom of the board? It's on the bottom of the board. Okay, yeah. So that'll go there. I'm just gonna sh put everything where it kind of needs to go right now. Yeah. Good idea. It's this one. Me and cable management don't get along. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. So this this case um, would have come uh, with the fans uh, pre-installed. Also, this case comes with a fan header. Uh, sorry, a fan, fan, control. fan controller. Fan and LED. Yeah, controller. fan and LED controller. And that would have also been pre-installed. So it's actually a pretty, pretty nice little case. I mean... I can't speak for the airflow or performance, but aesthetically, it's a pretty nice case. Yeah. And we'll tie those up once we connect everything, pull the excess through. Yeah. That's not needed. Oh, oh that's front panel front headers. Panel. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. I guess and those are on this side of the board, so I can go over there. All right. And Mr. Card, guess what you're going to do? No, oh, thanks, man. You're taking over. Uh-huh. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Because the video card's going to be in your way. Oh, totally. <laughs> I think I could probably get it though. Okay, so uh, the tricky, the tricky deal always is the um, CPU supplementary power. But luckily, this board wasn't that bad. Okay, we moved the fan out of the way earlier. Yeah. So uh, now you need to pay attention to your fan flow. Right, so um, in this particular case, uh, the front is blowing in, the back is blowing out, and I do believe that I'm going to make the uh, top one blow in as well. So we want to make sure that your fan cables, if you want to keep it nice and neat, put it down to the bottom, and then we can take our coarse thread fan screws. Let's get this bad boy going. I'll just start the top one, get something to hold it. How's that magnetic screwdriver? It's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Okay, let's get this bottom cross one going. The only thing I would say about this case is uh, I'm not too thrilled with like the exposed screws on the. Yeah, I mean, you, can, you can barely notice. Yeah, I suppose. Excellent. Okay, so we've got uh, we got to do our. Uh, 20 plus 4 ATX power. 
Okay, that's done. And this is our uh, ATX power for the GPU. And it looks like the clip is this way. So I need to flip this. around like so. Kind of wondering, yeah, that's fine. It's behind the, it's, yep. it's behind the graphics. And it's curve. a nice looking cable. Yep. Excellent. Okay. So now that we've completely blocked the motherboard with the uh, GPU, I'm now going to pull it out. <laughs> and uh, we'll connect the headers on the motherboard. We'll be back. Okay, so <clears throat> we took the, uh, <laughs> the, the the graphics card back out to to put the uh, connectors in for uh, USB two, USB three front panel headers. Uh, that's pretty much a typical thing uh, for any computer build is you yep. know uh, two steps forward, one step back because you know you don't know the case or you don't know the whatever or you're just an idiot whatever yeah it, it, that's my excuse i'm an idiot just an idiot <laughs> yeah exactly so um yeah uh you know honestly like um things like the usb3 cable uh the usb2 header they can only go one spot on the board yep. and as well you know your manual has all that information in it and it's really not that hard to read so uh, it'll it'll give you that uh, information, and of course, you know if you don't if you buy used and you don't have a manual like in this particular example, Google it. Just Google it. Just go yeah. to the. This is an MSI board. Just go to the MSI website, download the manual, and you'll have everything you need to know. So basically, uh, this side of the case is done. Uh, we just have to do a little bit of uh, cable management on the back, and it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Let's um. Let's tilt this again so we can get some light on it. Just tilt it. In. Yeah, we use our use our monitor as a uh, <laughs> as a computer holder. <laughs> so this we're not using. So we'll we'll tie that up. We can put this stuff through its slots. Yep. Actually, I'll be cameraman again. Yeah. So I'm not like shooting the side of a <laughs> the side of the ceiling when you're trying to do something. <laughs> I don't really like that guy. I'll just be this one? Yeah, we'll tie it up. We will. We'll tie it up right here. We'll show it what's going on. Like again, as long as it's decent, it, you yeah. can you can go crazy on it if you want. We I don't. I don't ever go crazy I because just, uh, I don't I don't show my computers off. I don't I don't bring people over and go like you got to see this. Cable. Check out my wiring. Check, check out this cable management I did. People <laughs> I are like, great. I don't care because you know. The typically back panels or side covers or whatever the they're not see-through so <laughs> you know and if you do torture yourself with a see-through one well yeah that's so not... in other words jam and cram <laughs> <laughs> now having said that this h510 case is really nice for uh cable management like for, actually... for, for what they for what they provide yeah can we uh that bad boy oh you, you want me to do something with that yeah okay well yeah let's do it there that's, you go that's through something that's through something cool yeah give her and it's beautiful i like it you like it and guess what everybody if you don't like it this is what you're gonna see anyways yeah, you want to turn it around i will yeah show them yeah, that's right. So this is <laughs> this is how this is how it doesn't go. You got to tilt it in. It tilt it tilts. Oh, it's that kind of case. Yeah, like right here. You see the little. Well then, there. Did I do it? I think so. Me too. It's looking beautiful. Look. Uh, did you do it? Yeah, dude. Nope. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it just tilts in. It doesn't tilt in. It tilts in like like so. Th this is our first time with an H510 case. Just in case you were wondering. There you go. There. I got it this time. I'm not a big, like, I'm not a white case kind of guy, but I'm, I actually don't mind that. It's not bad. Yeah, it's nice. 
Okay, so we can put the uh, glass panel on that I. You're gonna you're gonna trust me with the with the glass panel. <laughs> I think the front slides in. Something like that. No, I think it just bottom first has to be. Oh yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty slick looking case. Yeah, there it is. Yep. All right. So uh, we're going to power it up um the uh solid state needs to be wiped because uh you know it's it's new to this house and i don't want a foreign os that i don't know anything about on it yep. so uh yeah just uh give us a bit we'll get it all hooked up uh we're going to change the monitor out to a 1080p monitor and uh because this this is actually uh you know at the end of the day, it's a 1080p gaming machine. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen there. And um, we'll uh, check out and make sure that the riser on this video card is okay. Should be fine. Should be. And Although I didn't like the way we had the bend we put in it, but... Hey. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. It'll be fine. Yeah. So anyway, back in a bit when it's all hooked up. All right. So as far as cost is concerned <clears throat> uh i did buy this uh from the same guy uh and i i got a i talked him down so i got a pretty good deal so this system was 500 bucks that's what i paid for it and <clears throat> kevin and i looked at ebay for all the parts that the exact parts that are in this system i don't, I don't have them listed there but we can we can go through them real quick but uh, just looking at typical eBay sales, and we were finding the lowest sale for each item. Uh, this came out to seven hundred and fifty bucks. Um, if we uh, were to buy it on eBay, so this is an X three seventy based motherboard, uh, MSI X three seventy Gaming Plus. Yep, it's got a uh, AMD Ryzen seven thirty eight hundred X. Yep. It has uh, 16 gigs of uh, Rip Jaws 5. Rip Jaws 5. Uh, it has a, uh, uh, what's the graphics card manufacturer? It's a gigabyte. Gigabyte, gigabyte uh, 1070. 8 gig. 8 gig GTX. Uh, it's got a Samsung. No, I keep saying Samsung. It has a uh, Western Digital Western Black. Western Digital Black. SN750. SN750. One terabyte. Yeah, uh, one terabyte uh, NVMe. Uh, it's got uh, just an MSI branded Wi-Fi card. Um, it has the NZXT H510 or 510H? H510 case. And the uh, Gigabyte 650 power supply. Oh, and the Gigabyte 650 watt power supply. Yeah, so I think um, a $500 deal was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm sure that there's deals like this that people could find out there. And honestly, for um, a computer for, you know, my daughter, it's fine. And it, it does 1080p gaming just fine. It, it mean, would do 1440p. It would do, it would for sure, right? You can do, you could do Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on this. It'll play it. Yep. Medium settings, 1440 or high settings, 1080. Or high settings, 1080. Exactly. So um, the deals are out there. Uh, I think if you were to source each of these parts locally, like uh, Facebook Marketplace or um, what's the th big thing in the States they use? Craigslist. Craigslist or yeah. whatever. Yeah, we don't, I don't know if Canada has Craigslist. We don't. I don't think so. We have Kijiji. Yeah, Kijiji. Which is uh, owned by eBay. It's yep. eBay's free auction site. Uh, but anyway, if you, you could probably source each part individually and, and probably spend maybe even less than what I just did, but it's five hundred dollars Canadian, so that's that's about what one hundred and forty bucks US. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, <laughs> dollar sucks. <laughs> Our dollar sucks yeah. exactly. So yeah, anyway, that's that's the breakdown of the of the system, and uh, all right, we'll just get um, Kevin to uh, fire up a game. 
Back in a bit. Okay, we're all done. Windows is installed. Got a game going. Just doing some CSGO. It's a pretty nice little computer for the kid. I think she'll uh, she'll quite enjoy this. We got Kevin here just rocking out some. I'm gonna die pretty quick. CSGO in uh, 1080p because this is a 1080p computer for sure. CSGO doesn't really take a lot to run, so we're doing like 360, 354, whatever. It's jumping over. It's 300 plus FPS on a 1070. So yeah, I guess that uh, pretty much covers this video. Again, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. It works uh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we'd appreciate a like and a subscribe if you feel that we're worthy. And uh, <laughs> we are worthy. We, we are. We're so worthy. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll uh, see you all in the next one. Thank you. Thanks.